This is a white model 999 sewing machine. Um, it's a little bit newer than what we normally deal with, but it's a super clean machine. It's a pretty strong machine. Um, it's mostly metal inside. There are a few plastic parts. They've all been checked and all check out fine. It is a one amp machine. It's pretty stout. Um, it is a convertible flatbed free arm machine. The bed here comes off with just a pull and there's your bobbin access and your free arm. The bed slides right back on just as easy Then locks. Your attachments store right here in a little compartment there on the front and it is a low shank machine. It uses class 15 bobbins. Comes with bobbins, fabric guide, buttonhole foot, button sewing foot, zipper foot, darning foot, screwdrivers, needles, and maybe even more. That will all be detailed in the description. I'll just close that right up. Um, it does do both regular and stretch stitches and it has an automatic buttonholer. It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stitches plus the buttonholer. And of course, adjustable stitch length and adjustable stitch width. It has a built in handle here on the top. And it also includes the never used dust cover. That's still in the package. It is vinyl dust cover. And it is scanned copy of the manual will either be emailed to you or sent with a machine. It depends on if I get it scanned. Um, do a few things for you. Camera right there. Um, it is also double needle capable and it does include a double needle in your package of needles. uses basic 15 by 1 needles. Bobbins and needles bought can be bought at Walmart, Hancock Fabrics, Jillian Fabrics, anywhere that stocks basic sewing supplies. Oh, and it does have adjustable needle position down here too, I just saw. So you can move your needle from left, center, or right. Okay, we'll start with some basic stitches. The quiet machine, and of course if you've ever done any sewing, you know that a free arm becomes necessary at one point or another, so it's nice to have access to a free arm, but have a flat bed also. And let's see, let's go over to a stretch stitch. This is a rickrack stretch. The manual details of course, how to do all this stuff and how to use the uh, assorted feet that come with it. There's your stretch stitch. It has some other built in designs also. Very nice looking stitch. Put it back to the basic and we'll do some samples here. This is six layers of denim. Has nice lift, nice clearance under the foot. Nice stitch, bottom and top. Um, this is five layers of a woven cotton upholstery, or woven upholstery fabric. Nice and stitch. Eight layers of very stiff upholstery fabric. And this machine will use up to a size 19 needle according to the manual. Stitch there. I'm using a 16 on this stuff. This is eight layers of a drapery fabric. Very nice. And one more. Three layers of raw leather. Now, if you're going to do sticky stuff like vinyl or leather, you might want to 
purchase a walking foot attachment because as you notice my stitches get a little shorter and it's only because the leather is raw on the bottom. So a walking foot makes it a little easier on the feed dogs to pull through. There. That is a white convertible flatbed free arm model, $9.99.